Hi everybody, it's uh, Mr Sharp here, Head Teacher of Pear Tree Community Junior School. I'm just going to take you through some of the methods that we've been using to keep um, children safe in our school and what else we're going to be doing to continue to keep them safe and to make sure that we can keep as many children in school as possible. Um, so I'm going to take you through a few slides to um, discuss the sorts of things that we've been doing. So we have put our measures in place. Um, and some of those are things like class bubbles. OK, and for our class bubbles, um, we have been making sure that children um, don't meet um, each other from different classrooms, zoning them on the playgrounds. We've in also included additional hand watching opportunities throughout the day. Um, that's included um, outside where we've increased the number of uh, facilities that we have and sinks available to children. Um, we've also um, include, increased the amount of school cleaning around the school, um, particularly those points that are regularly and things like play equipment outside. Um, one of the other things that we've been doing is making sure that we've staggered those timings to make sure that there's not too many people coming onto our site at, at any one time at the beginning of the day and the end of the day. It's also meant that the year, all the year groups have different break and lunch times, keeping them uh, in their separate bubbles and away from uh, mixing with other children. Um, obviously, as you will be aware, that over the last few weeks, there's been an increase in the amount of cases across the country. And you'll also be aware that some schools have had to send children home or even close the school. We want to avoid that where we possibly can. And in the case of if we do have a positive test in the school, we'd want to limit the number of children who had to self-isolate. So, one of the things that we're always doing is thinking, how else can we keep our children safe? How can we limit the amount of children have to send home? And how can we limit the likelihood of transmission of the coronavirus? virus? So following latest advice and guidance, um, we're now going to be asking school staff um, to wear masks when they're walking in shared spaces around the school, particularly when they're meeting or seeing other people and other staff members that aren't in their class bubble. Staff will still uh, teach normally and not have to wear a mask when they're in their classroom and their bubble. But we think by making sure that staff are wearing them in those shared spaces, um, that means that the likelihood of cross um, contamination is massively reduced. So from tomorrow, from Thursday, we will be going to that. Um, clearly as well, all visitors will have to follow these rules as well and follow that two metre distancing and making sure that they're wearing a face mask when they're in school. So what have we done? Um, we are sending out a letter so that you can see um, all the measures that we're now taking. Um, and also uh, we will also be showing and having posters around the school. So that's posters so everybody knows what the rules are. What we'd also ask is that within the community, remember to follow the latest government guidance. So keeping the hands washed, keeping your face covered on buses and in shops and keeping that two metre space and also making sure that actually it's households or no more than groups of six. Thank you for taking time to listen today. Um, we hope you stay safe out there. Thank you very much.